Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new military video. Today we will see the nuclear attack submarines. In the past we have already seen the nuclear ballistic submarines that they are specifically designed to launch intercontinental ballistic missiles, usually nuclear. In this case the nuclear attack submarines are designed to hunting and uh, attacking other submarines or uh, ships or other naval targets. Uh, sometimes they are also used to attack land targets because they have also uh, cruise missiles and support the allied troops. So they don't have uh, nuclear weapons but they are usually nuclear powered. Of course they are not the only kind of attack submarines, we have also the diesel and electric powered submarines, so not nuclear powered, but we will see them in uh, next list. For today we have the nuclear powered one, so enjoy the list and see you at the end of the video as always. We started the list with the Project 949 from Russia. It's being produced from 1975 and it was launched in 1980. They planned 20 of them and 6 of them were cancelled. The cost is 1.7 billion dollars. And the latest one was commissioned in 2017. The Project 949 has a length of 154 meters and a displacement of 16,400 tons. For the power we have two nuclear reactors and propelled by two standard propellers. The test depth is 900 meters and it can reach a speed of 32 knots submerged and 18 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have four 533mm torpedo tubes and two 650mm torpedo tubes. In the storage we have a mix of 60 torpedoes or anti-ship missiles, the P-18, or anti-ship missiles RPK-2 or sea mines. At the ninth spot we have the Type 093G from China. It's being produced from 1994 and it was launched in 2002. They completed six of them, we don't know uh, how much they cost, but we know the latest one was commissioned in 2015. It has a length of 120 meters with a displacement of 7000 tons. For the power we have one nuclear reactor and with a standard propeller. Of course the range is limited or to be precise limited only by uh, crew and food uh, for 80 days. The test depth is 400 meters. It can reach a speed of 30 knots submerged and we don't know how much fast can go in silent mode. For the armament we have 6 533 torpedo tubes and 12 vertical launch system tubes. For the armament we have a mix of 40 torpedo, CJ-10 cruise missiles or YJ-18 anti-ship missiles. At the 8th spot we have the Project 945 Condor from Russia. It's being produced from 1979 and launched in 1983. They planned 4 of them, it cost 2.1 billion dollars and the latest one was commissioned in 2018. It has a length of 110 meters with a displacement of 9,100 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor, for the propulsion we have a standard propeller, of course the range is unlimited and the test depth is 750 meters. It can reach a speed of 32 knots submerged and 25 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have 4 650mm torpedo tubes and 4 530mm torpedo tubes. In the storage we have a mix of 42 torpedo, RK-55 cruise missiles, RPK-7 anti-ship missiles, these one are nuclear, or sea mines. At the 7th spot we can find the 688 Los Angeles class from the United States. It's being produced from 1982 and it was launched in 1986. They completed 62 of them and 32 are still active in this moment. It cost 1.5 billion dollars and uh, the latest one was commissioned in 1996. It has a length of 110 meters with a displacement of 6300 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor, propelled by a propeller, the range is unlimited and the test depth is 240 meters. It can reach a speed of 33 knots submerged and 20 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have 4 533mm torpedo tubes and 12 VLS tubes, vertical launch systems. In the storage we have a mix of 37 torpedo, Tomahawk cruise missiles, Harpoon anti-ship missiles or captor mines. At the 6th spot we can find the Project 971 Shuka B from Russia. It's being produced from 1983 and it was launched in 1984. They planned 20 of them and 5 of them were cancelled. It cost 1.5 billion dollars and the latest one was commissioned in 2015. 
It has a length of 113 meters with a displacement of 13,800 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor. For the propulsion we have a standard propeller. The range is unlimited and the test depth is 600 meters. It can reach a speed of 35 knots submerged and 25 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have four 650mm torpedo tubes and four 530mm torpedo tubes. In the storage we have a mix of 40 torpedo or 3M54 calibre anti-ship missile. The first submarine of the top 5 is the Barracuda from France. It's being produced from 2007 and it was launched in 2018. It's very new. They planned 6 of them and only one it was completed until now. It cost only 1.3 billion dollars and the latest one was commissioned in 2018, just the last year. It has a length of 99 meters and a displacement of 5,300 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor, propelled by a pump jet, much more silent than standard propellers, range unlimited limited and the test depth is more than 350 meters. It can reach a speed of 25 knots submerged and 18 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have 4 533mm torpedo tubes and in the storage we have a mix of 20 torpedo, Exocet anti-ship missile or Scalp AG anti-ship missile. At the fourth spot we can find the Project 885 Yasen from Russia. It's being produced from 1993 and it was launched in 2010. They planned 10 of them and two of them are completed in this moment. It cost 1.7 billion dollars and the latest one was commissioned in 2018. It has a length of 139 meters with a displacement of 13,800 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor, it has a range unlimited, propelled by standard propeller, the test depth is 600 meters and it can reach a, a speed of 35 knots submerged and 28 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have 6 uh, 650 mm torpedo tubes, 2 533 mm torpedo tubes and 10 VLS vertical launch system tubes. For the storage we have a mix of 42 torpedo, P-18 Onyx anti-ship missiles, 3M-54 calibre anti-ship missiles or KH-101 cruise missiles. And today we started the top 3 with the Virginia Block 3 from United States. It's being produced from 1998 and it was launched in 2003. They planned 48 of them and 15 are completed in this moment. It cost 2.7 billion dollars and the last one was commissioned in 2018. It has a length of 114 meters with a displacement of 7,900 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor, propelled by a pump jet, more silent, and the test depth is 240 meters. It can reach a speed of 25 knots submerged and 18 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have 4 533mm torpedo tubes and 12 VLS vertical launch system tubes. In the storage we have a mix of 42 torpedo, Tomahawk cruise missiles or Captor c -Mine. At the second spot we can find the Astute from United Kingdom. It's being produced from 2001 and it was launched in 2007. They planned 7 of them and 4 of them were completed until now. It cost only 1.8 billion dollars and the latest one was commissioned in 2018. It has a length of 97 meters with a displacement of 7,800 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor plus a MTU diesel, propelled by a pump jet and the range is unlimited. The test depth is more than 300 meters with a speed of 30 knots submerged and 20 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have 6 533mm torpedo tubes and in the storage we have 38 torpedo or Tomahawk cruise missile. And finally in the first spot we have the Sea Wolf from United States. It's being produced from 1989 and it was launched in 1995. 29 of them were planned but 26 were cancelled, so only 3 of them are active now. It cost 3.5 billion dollars, it's very expensive. And the latest one was commissioned in 2005. It has a length of 137 meters with a displacement of 12,100 tons. It's powered by a nuclear reactor, for the propulsion we have a pump jet, more silent. The range is unlimited and the test depth is more than 490 meters. It can reach a speed of 35 knots submerged and 25 knots in silent mode. For the armament we have 8 660mm torpedo tubes. For a storage of 50 torpedo, Tomahawk cruise missile, Harpoon anti-ship missile or Captor mines. 
Okay, also for today that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, please leave a like. It's free and it's always appreciated. And remember that you can find more videos like uh, this one in the playlist that should appear here or here or in the description of the video. Uh, the other lists are uh, with similar arguments like ships or uh, other submarines, but also other arguments like helicopters, aircraft, bombers and tanks and all. So uh, you can check them too if you, if you want. Remember that you can always leave a comment and let me know what I can improve, what you want to see next and similar. And the most important, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, remember to click on the bell to receive a notification to know when I upload a new video. But as always, I upload a new military video on Saturday and a Lego video on Tuesday. So see you in the next video and enjoy the weekend. Bye.